Here are six different potential solutions to stop Marvel rivals from crashing. So before we begin with the rest of the fixes, very recently there was a Nvidia driver that was said to help fix random GPU crashes and stutters in Marvel rivals. This is something the devs strongly recommend doing, so just check if you're on version 576.80. To update your GPU, you can use the links in the description to update your specific GPU make. Another important thing we need to do is to make sure you can actually run the game on your PC before trying out any fixes. To do that, press the Windows button and search up DXDIAG. Here, if it says your DirectX version is DirectX 11, then you might not be able to run the game. If it's DirectX 12, then you are good to go. Also, click on the Display tab and check if your GPU is an integrated GPU. If it is, you might not be able to run the game. In this case, I have both DirectX 12 and a dedicated GPU, so the following fixes could actually help me stop the game from crashing. Go into Steam, then right-click on Marvel Rivals and click on Properties. Then, under Installed Files, click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. This would check and make sure that none of the game files are broken. Broken files will cause most games to crash. If your game is on Epic Games, right-click on the game and click on Manage. Then click on Verify Files. See if this fixes the issue. Some people mentioned that turning off the Steam overlay helped them, so let's try that. Right-click on the game in Steam and click on Properties. Then under General, disable the Steam overlay. Some people mentioned that capping the FPS to 60 stopped the game from crashing for them. This is likely because capping the game's FPS reduces the overall load put on the GPU, which when overused could be causing a crash for whatever reason. Speaking of settings, lowering your graphics will also lower the load on the GPU and potentially fix the game from crashing. Try setting graphics to low or medium, and then using DLSS or FSR. As a last resort, you could try playing the game from Epic Games instead of playing it from Steam or vice versa. To be honest, I'm not sure exactly what that changes, but I know that this worked for some people. I'm going to link two videos in the description that will show you how to move the game files between Steam and Epic Games.